guys, Jess here and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. Now, let me just emphasize that I am so, 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 so very, very happy to be waking up in my very own bed, complete with sheets and pillows, and it's just been such a long time since I've been back home, and I am just so excited to be here. Um, anyway, so, let me just emphasize that one more time and just get in my bed because I love it, um, even though it disappeared right there. Um, so... We got back to Phoenix Drop in the last episode, and when we came back, oh my goodness, it was just wonderful because little Levin was there, he met Malachi, and they got along right off the bat. Zoe was there, so was Dale and Brian waiting for us at the docks, and they took us to a festival in the plaza, and we partied all night long, and it was awesome, and then we came back to our respective houses, and everyone just chilled out. It was really nice. Um, now, here's the thing. I got to clean out my inventory, and that is something I am super excited about because this entire journey, even my backpacks are cleaned. Seriously, even my backpacks are completely cleaned, and I am just so excited about that because this entire journey, my inventory was completely packed. So now my um, inventory is completely clean. Today I'm really excited because I get to go see what everybody's been up to, and I get to go see my adorable little do dokies, and I just saw... Is that Gareth outside? Already? Oh, okay, alright. Gareth, good morning. Lord Atmal, how are you doing this morning? I am... Doing so wonderful. It's so good to be back home. I'm so happy to hear that. So today we have two orders of business that are of utmost importance. First off, I'm sure you want to know about Alexis. Absolutely, yes! Is she okay? I think you will be more than happy with how things turned out with her. But I'll let you see that for yourself. You should head to Molly and Dale's. After that, meet me in the guard tower and we can discuss more about what has happened in the village. Okay, that sounds great. I'll see you at your... A uh, place then, Gareth. It just, it's so early in the morning. It's just, huh. Oh, Malachi! Levin! Oh, I'm so glad you guys, you must have woken up earlier than I did. Then again, I stayed up later. But still, Malachi, Levin has been so wonderful. I've never had a brother, but it's like having a best friend with you all the time. He's a great kid. Aw, you both are. My brother, best. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I am so excited for you two. All right, I'm going to let you guys get to know each other and play because, Levin, you and I have been together for such a long time. And Malachi, you and I have been together for a while, but I want you two to get to know each other. Zoe, how have they been doing? Malachi and Levin get along so well. I'm so glad you guys came back safe and sound. It's always great to see you, Zoe. To you as well, Afmao. Gareth, he, um, he looks different now, doesn't he? Um... I guess, yeah, I guess he's grown, like, his personality, but I, I don't see the difference because I guess I've been around him for this entire trip. He just seems more mature than when he left is all. He's always had this side about him and, eh, nothing. <laughs> anyway, you should get some rest. I'm sure there's so much you have to do now that you're back and the entire town has gone through major renovations thanks to Brian, Dale, Corey, and Brendan. Really? Like... Oh, wait, the fr wow, wait, where did that come from? That wasn't here when I got here yesterday. That's beautiful. Is that a guard tower or something? And what happened to, <gasps> this is so beautiful. Wow, they have been so busy. I didn't even see this entire area when I walked through to the plaza last night. Well, then again, it was dark and I was so preoccupied with Levin and Malachi, but still, Nicole and Yip and Roxy. Oh. She's playing happily. Oh, that's so exciting. Yep. What are you doing? Wait. Oh, I like Roxy. She's like me, only a fox. Do you think she can teach me how to be a wolf since the other werewolf in town won't? Aw. Wait, Logan won't teach you how to be a werewolf? Aw, yep. Okay. Um, Nicole, how are you doing today? You look like you're enjoying the scenery. I, I am too, actually. Afma, your village is beautiful. Roxy and I love these wheat fields so much better than my old village. Ah. <sighs> Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. You haven't even told me a thing about your old village, but that's perfectly fine. But I want to see what Alexis is up to, how she's been, and, like, what's going on with her? Molly! I'm sorry I didn't knock, but Molly, are you here? Oh, there she is! Molly! Lord, uh, Lady Afmau! She hugged you tight. Aw, Molly, it's so good to see you. It's great to see you, too. Everyone missed you so much, especially little Alexis. She's awake? Well... Not exactly, but... Oh, come upstairs and see her. Okay, yeah. <gasps> Alexis.
Alexis! She's... She's back to normal! She's... Uh, Molly! Isn't she beautiful? She's just the size of a baby again, though a little older, but still, she's just the right age she's supposed to be. Now, if only she would wake up. Uh... What... What should we do? We need to keep smiling and trust the spirit of Lady Irene. So far, that has done wonders to getting Alexis back to her true age. Now we just need to make sure it stays that way. I can't think of any other magic that can do that aside from love and smiles, of course, um, from our Lady Irene. I, ha I have to keep faith. I just have to. She'll wake up, Molly. I know she will. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to continue to watch her. I just wanted to come see you. She hugged you again. It's it's so glad. I'm so glad to have you back. I am so glad to be back, but she's just so big I mean, I mean she was bigger before but she's like like she's got hair now and like a little bow on there. Oh She looks so cute Oh, even her when she's older though. She has like blonder hair I guess but I guess when babies are smaller they have like darker hair, but still okay I'm not gonna question it, but still Molly you take care of Alexis I'll come and see you guys tomorrow just to check out to make sure she's okay. Maybe we'll find something <sighs> okay, all right. Well, Gara said to meet him after I do that. Gara said to meet him at the guard tower. So is that, or is this, um, Dante? <gasps> so I guess this is the place I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's Gara. Gara. Well, what do you think? <laughs> to be honest, I'm so happy she's back to normal. Same here. But her condition concerns me. Her in a constant state of slumber. Do you have any ideas on how we can wake her? Um. <laughs> try shaking her? No, we can't shake her. That's not gonna work. I'm pretty sure someone's tried that already. Uh, it, it's kind of like a fairy tale, but a, a kiss from a prince? A kiss from a prince? <laughs> Adorable. But as beautiful as Alexis is, she's not the fabled sleeping beauty. Her condition is one brought on by the magics of the necklace given to her by Zane. Knowing him, there's some kind of sacrifice we're going to have to make in order to get her back. And I'm afraid to think of what it might be. For now, we will continue to work toward waking her up by methods that are of a just manner. Speaking of Zane, we need to talk about him and Ocasis. <laughs> I really just want to pretend like those two things don't even exist, but... Alright, I'm all ears. Dale has told me that in the time period we were away from Phoenix Drop, Zane never came back to take me to fulfill the marriage pact with Scaleswind. <laughs> oh, that's great! Yes, great for me, I suppose. However, while it is a blessing in disguise, it is also a very high concern for me. This could mean one of two things. Either Ocasus has successfully occupied Scaleswind, or they're planning something worse, to which I have no idea as to what it could be. It could be something that affects us all, and not in a good way. Oh, well, what do you propose that we do? There's nothing we can do but bide our time and prepare our defenses. I've decided to take Nicole on as a member of the guard here in Phoenix Drop, but we should seek out more warriors and train our people on wielding arms. Now that we are a part of Fe the Phoenix Alliance, you can expect the other villages will notice us and will try to either join us or destroy us. You mean like other villages that aren't in our alliance? Ugh, this is a little too much to take in, Garth. No one said being a lord was an easy job, Aphmau. It's a task that requires a lot of heart and spirit, and you've put more into your position than most. Mm. Why don't we try to have a meeting with Ocasus to discuss peace? I value your resolve to pursue peace, but at the current moment in time, it just isn't possible. Discussions would have to be done within Ocasus walls, and who knows what they try to pull on us. They might try to lock us up for just setting foot inside their walls. It's not something that we are in a position to risk. For now, we will just live life the way that it always has been, but we make sure to expand our defenses for our people. I agree. I'm glad that we are on the same page. If you feel like I'm being too rash, please let me know. I am the only guard here, but you have the fun. I am only the guard here, but you have the final say in all actions. Right now, my job is to make sure everyone, Levin, Malachi, I need to make sure you're all safe. Anyway, I'm going to work on a few things here. That's all I wish to discuss with you. You should go to the village. Everyone misses you. Aw, I will, Gareth. Um, I'm going to go see what Dante's up to first. Lawrence? 
<laughs> Look at you! You're like a knight in shining armor! <laughs> what are you doing here? Jeez, Garth can sure be serious when he wants to, huh? Why are you wearing armor exactly? Oh yeah, <laughs> like it? Garth hooked me up with it, seeing as I'm his new second-in-command now. Wait, you're the second-in-command now? I, I thought that was Dale. Ah, you didn't hear, I see. Dale resigned from his position as a guard. What? I suppose his concern with Alexis had him thinking more about spending time with his kids. I don't blame him. I'd probably do the same thing if I were a father. Uh, why was I not informed? Dale probably wants to tell you himself. So do me a favor and pretend like you don't know when you talk to him. <laughs> I can understand why. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Thanks. Gotta admit, it's weird being second in command when I was so used to leading the guard in Metelli. But Garth is a good leader. <laughs> He'll be even better with me by his, with me in his shadow. He flexes in a silly manner. <laughs> oh, you're a good person, Lawrence. I try. <laughs> anyway, you better get running along. Your people want to see you. Don't worry. I'll make sure Garth doesn't overwork himself. Now you go. Now go, you. <laughs> I will, Lawrence, and yeah, just make sure Garth is okay, alright? I want to see what Dante's up to. Why is he up here? This is... Dante? Oh. Uh, have you met anyone in the village yet? Oh, um, Lord Athmau. I was kind of taking the time to settle in, you know? This is a whole new start for me, and well, last time I had a new start somewhere, it wasn't on a good start to begin with. This time I'm going to take things slow, so I'll meet with people when I'm ready, if you don't mind. Take your time, Dante. You don't have to rush into, like, meeting everyone. I know it can be very intimidating with the whole village, even though you kind of met everyone last night but didn't really talk to anybody. Thanks. Okay. You do your thing, Dante. I will, um, be visiting with all the villagers right now. I want to see what everyone's up to. Seriously. I want to see what Kawaii-chan- Kawaii-chan! She said she was going to make some new little maids, didn't she, last time when I left? Oh, I gotta go see what she's up to! Alright, so I really want to know what that tower is, though. I better go look over there. I want to... Okay, there's so many things I could do right now. Um, but first, let's go to... <gasps> Emma! And baby... Brendan? Ah, there's so many people! Okay, I'm just gonna go with the first person I see, which is Brendan. Brendan! How are you? Athma, boy, it's awesome to see you. How was your trip? It was... It was long. Yeah, I can tell. You were gone for quite some time. Say, you brought back some people with you, huh? Like the one I noticed in particular was that cute fighter gal. Uh, wait, Brendan, I, I thought you liked Kawaii-chan. Yeah, I do, but s she's not really getting the hint that I like her, even though I kind of told her once and, hey, I'm not taken, so checking out other girls isn't a sin, right? Right? I, I'm gonna stay out of this. Hey, don't judge me. I can't help it if that girl with the white fox is cute. What's her name again? I I'm just- I'm just gonna leave. Yep, I'm just leaving. Bye, Brendan! You go- go find out yourself, because I'm not doing that! <laughs> ah, I'm out of here! Emily, Emma! Wait, there's Emmeline and em Yes, I'm sorry, I called you by the wrong name. <laughs> Lady Afmau, oh, look at you! My, you've grown so much, it seems. How was your journey? It- it was long. I see. <laughs> well, you're home now. You should come over for a good home-cooked meal sometime. Kyle would love to have you over. Him and Levin have been playing a lot and getting along just fine. By the way, Cory is downstairs, but he's asleep. He's been working on some of the village renovations and has been sleeping during the day lately. Sorry about that. Glad you're back. I am so glad I'm back, too. I want to see... <gasps> he's so big! He's got hair now! I just pushed him down. I'm so glad he pushed him down. <laughs> Wait. Hi, Apple. My name Kyle. Oh, you're talking to everyone just getting so bigger. It's so cute. <laughs> and Cory's asleep. Like, face down on his couch. Why is he on the couch and not on the... Oh, you're in trouble, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> okay, no. I am just gonna go outside and not get involved in anyone's personal matters. Is that Cookie? That's Cookie! <gasps> Cadenza! <laughs> oh, where's you? Oh! <laughs> so good to see you! Atma, your dress, it's... It's... Yes? It's beautiful! This must have been made by the best seamstress in the world! She was very nice. She must have a big heart to be able to put this kind of detail. Eek! Ahem. In any case, I'm glad you're back and safe. She hugs you. Aww. We'll talk more later. Right now, I'm sure you have people to talk to who really want to see you. I'm so happy you stopped by. I am so happy to stop by too. And Cookie! 
Kiki, it's so good to see you. I have to go to Kiki's place to see all the other doggies, but it's so good to see you. Oh, I love you so much. I see you've been keeping Cadenza company, so I'm not going to take you away from her. But yeah, just keep her company, but it's so good to see you. I love you, but I'll come back for you later tonight, so that way you can spend time with the other dogs. Though, I'm sure you have knowing you and Cadenza. <sighs> anyway, um, let's see. So who else is there? Kawaii-chan, Brendan... I yeah, you're 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 good, Brendan. I want to see what Kawaii Chan has been up to while I've been gone. Oh, her house is still pink. That's awesome. <gasps> Kawaii Chan! Afa Senpai, she hugs you tight. Oh, Kawaii Chan missed you so much. Absolutely so much. It's good to see you, Kawaii Chan. <laughs> oh, Kawaii Chan has some fantastical news. Tomorrow Kawaii Chan will have her first little maid in a long time. Kawaii Chan has been working on perfecting my animation magics while you were away, and she finally got it right. Kawaii Chan was hoping to have a few little maids before you got back, but <laughs> Kawaii Chan guesses it didn't work out that way. So please stop by tomorrow for the summoning, please? Of course I will! Great! <laughs> I'm so glad to have Senpai home. She hugs you again. Oh, I miss you too, Kawaii Chan. And are those? Your little- Oh, they're so cute! Oh, are those your little- Is this your, like, little ritual thing, I guess? I- I- I don't know, but that is so cute! Oh! <laughs> the dolls are so cute! Is that them? I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna bother you while you're doing your thing, but- oh, Just so cute! <laughs> okay, um, and now, last person is Emmeline, the other Emma. Alright, Emma, have you been- <gasps> Emma! Afma, glad to see you're back in one piece. I'm sorry, I would ask you some questions, but I'm in the middle of something incredibly important. Just know that I'm so happy to see you back safe. Aw. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i leave you be, because I know you're, you've are you been like a busy bookworm, haven't you? That's a good thing. Um, okay, who else? That tower, that's right, that's exactly what I wanted to go see. So let's go see that, this is new. Let's go see that tower. So this is new, a few things are new actually. There's more clearing and stuff. This is, this is just amazing. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody cleaned up afterwards. Oh, Logan and- Hey! Oh yeah, that's her uncle! <laughs> Logan! Afmal, how much do you know about that Nicole girl? Um, she ran away from home. Uh, wait, but why do you want to know? I can't place my finger on it, but she looks incredibly familiar. I know she's helped you and you've welcomed her here, but I feel like I've seen her before when I used to be a traveling merchant. I'm just gonna keep my eyes on her. Okay, yeah. Uh, she's no trouble, trust me. She helped me out in a tight situation before in Brightport, but, you know, uh, what's going on here? Oh, Uncle, Afma said you were going to make me and Logan a house before we got back. Have you been drinking again? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, maybe Dell and I have had a few root beers. <laughs> yeah, you were, like, up there fixing up Donna's place with your shirt off, and you were like, I'm gonna make a house here but you didn't so i'm gonna let that <laughs> yeah i am going to stay far away from everyone's little uh <gasps> ah! <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just so excited to see everybody <gasps> great wind you're a different color again interesting you're like the changing dog i swear uh brian what is this place here lady afmal boy are you a sight for sore eyes i missed you so much how was your trip <laughs> I've told everyone before it was just long and tiring. I can imagine. The thought of setting foot outside Phoenix Shop scares me. <sighs> I mean, if I had to, I would, but, you know. Anyway, I want to let you know that you're going to see so many changes around certain areas of Phoenix Shop. You not only have myself, but Brendan, Corey, and my father, Dale, to thank for that. Of course, many others chipped in as well when needed, but the leads were those that I mentioned. Is there anything you want to know more about? Um, I actually want to know more about, uh, the wheat fields. Ah, the wheat fields. Well, you see, after the high priest Zane left, that place just left a horrible taste in the mouths of people. Especially after what happened to Alexis. So we decided to demolish the house and make a fresh start. The soil there proved to be give lots of life to the plant, so it wasn't all in vain. That's awesome, but now I'm curious about that tower over there. What is that? The tower? Well, um... That's going to be a little hard to explain. I'm sure you noticed it wasn't there yesterday. That's because we worked overnight after the festival to finish it. Hence why Cory is probably dead asleep by now. I hope you don't take this the wrong way at all, but it's the new guard tower. I know you made that area for Garth, but in order to increase our defenses, we need a higher lookout point. I'm so sorry, milady, but... Um, <laughs> I worked a whole day on that. I did work a whole day on that, but... 
it, Brian, it, if it's if it's to have like a high lookout point so you guys can better protect the village, then yeah, especially from Ocasus, it's perfectly fine if it helps the village. Thank you, Lady Afmal. I'm so sorry we weren't able to ask permission before you got back. We thought it would be a nice surprise. I'm glad you like it. We'll try to make something out of the other places out of the other place soon. Garth is still using it while we're moving into the new guard tower. Eventually, there will be even more towers around the perimeter of the village, and we'll put up a beautiful gate to keep out any intruders. I'm sure that will make everyone feel safe. That will, but now I'm curious about the removal of the trees, especially by, like, the old lord's house. Like, what happened there? Well, there were so many trees, and we needed materials. <laughs> Oh, but not only that, instead of hiring carpenters from out of town, we just bought the material using the diamonds and did all the handiwork ourselves. We're still working on many projects to make Phoenix Shop look even better, but right now this is all we're able to do with the amount of people we had. I hope you like it, Lady Afma. I... <laughs> I love it! He lets out a tear. Aww! Thank you. I'm so glad you said that. We've been working so hard to make this village a better place. Your approval just means the world. Thank you. I'm glad you're back safe and sound. Aww! That's great. Phoenix Drop has just gotten so much different since I've left. It it just feels like a whole new place now. And I'm glad Nicole likes it here. Even though Logan doesn't seem to think so highly of her, I think that she's a wonderful girl. And she hasn't shown, like, any weird things. So, Logan, I think maybe he's just overreacting. Or maybe he just saw someone, like, that looked like her. Uh, oh. Uh, you look... Dale. You look really different without your, um... Are you... Lord Athmau, I... I quit my position as the guard of Phoenix Drop. I... I'm so sorry. I should have talked to you about it before I resigned, but... It's a personal matter. Not that I don't love this village with all my heart, because I do. It's just... I feel like I missed my own son's... Brian's childhood. As soon as he was a lad, we sent him to guard training, and when Alexis became an adult all of a sudden, the thought of missing my kids and everything they do just ran through my head, and... I'm sorry... I shouldn't be talking to you about this kind of thing. I'm sure you have more important matters and are already disappointed in me enough. Oh, I'm proud of you for thinking of your family first. Th thank you. I, I was afraid to tell you. I, I thank you, my lady. Please know that I will not hesitate to help the village or pick up a sword to defend if we ever need someone to. Just thank you. Oh, It's all right, Dale. I mean, I completely understand. It's weird to see you out of uniform, but... I'm glad you're doing the right thing for your family, and especially with Alexis out. I mean, are are you becoming a fisher or something? I don't know. Um, <sighs> anyway, um, <gasps> we have to go check on my lovely doggies. I almost forgot about that. Oh my goodness. How could I forget about my precious babies? <laughs> oh, and Kiki too. I wonder how she's doing with her animals. Oh my gosh, I bet they miss her. She was the one who was like taking care of all the animals the entire time. And oh. I knew it. So that's why you ran off the boat last uh, night. I get it. <laughs> Aw, look at everyone. <gasps> Thorgy! I'm so glad to see you. And Jiggy and Puma and Phoenix. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all. <laughs> Kiki, it looks like you Oh, uh, looks like you have so many animals that you're taking care of. Ugh. Oh, Afmal, so sorry for running off the boat like that yesterday. I really wanted to get back to see my beloved animals. Emma did such a wonderful job taking care of all of them, and I'm so proud of her. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to talking to them. They all need some tender, loving care to make up for the time I've been gone. Aww. All right, Kiki, you you do your thing. And Puma, I know you want to make friends with the turtle, and I know you probably made friends with the turtle here, but oh my goodness. So many animals in here. They all make, like, fun noises. <laughs> all right, come on, you guys. Come on. We can go back home. Oh, I missed you all so much. You all are going to love Malachi. He is just the sweetest little boy. Oh, it's so good to have you guys back. I remember when I traveled with you guys, like, on that crazy adventure. It was so fun. <laughs> all righty, guys. Well... So much has happened in Phoenix Drop. I am so happy to see everyone is doing just fantastic. Even Alexis, even if she's not awake, I am so happy she's back and she can live out her childhood the way that it's meant to be lived out. Right? Right, guys? Yeah, that's right. I love you guys so much. You're so cute. Ah, I guess I could rub my faces in puppies all day. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I am sincerely looking forward to the future of Phoenix Drop, the future of everybody, and I hope you guys are too. I have so many plans to make this place even better and to increase our defenses against Ocasus should, hopefully not, but should anything happen, I think we'll be fine. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And until then, take care. Bye. Be sure to rub your face in puppies because they're so cute. <laughs> Bye.